Stuff everybody, Tommy Ruff here, and welcome back to Detective Pikachu Returns. In the last part, we um, finished fish off the uh, backstory section, learned some more about um, Pikachu, it, with, um, there's clearly something up with there, let's just say that. And uh, something that's happened with, happened with uh, Rachel, so we, we had to go uh, figure, out what, figure out what went wrong, I guess. Well, that's not good. This is all these uh, rocks they went here earlier. Uh, they have to be uh, connected to what happened with um, Rachel and Jessica. So there's a large footprint there. Would it be Agron? Because we saw um, Lyron earlier, would it be an Agron by now? That's a big purple footprint. It's not Pangoro's footprint, no it is not. Um, okay, and the footprints. These ones are larger than Rachel and Jessica, they belong to a man. Uh, they're in the. They're mixed in with the uh, Rachel and Jessica footprints. I doubt they were made by a tourist. I think someone was going after Jessica. I can't rule it out. Judging by the size of these footprints, I bet they're Rachel and Jessica's. It looks like um, they ran up ahead behind the rocks. Beyond the rocks, sorry. Knowing which where they um, went is a big help. The rocks themselves. It doesn't seem like um, they've rolled down from anywhere. Perfect. Yeah, something's clearly um, not right. Hmm. Well, we can, we can e either ask people in town for help or find a Pokemon that can deal with them. Yeah, Pangoro should um, possibly be able to help. Um, there you are. Hey, Pangoro! Hey, Pangoro! Do you mind if I ask you for a lift? Thanks, bud. Yeah! Now we're unstoppable! Pangoro, let's go! <laughs> yeah, the view, up, the view up here is amazing. There's a bunch of uh, rocks blocking um, the path ahead. Can you flex those muscles to clear the way for us, Pangaro? Sure thing. You want me to uh, move one of, the, one of these rocks, right? I, um, I, yep. So, so instead of breaking the rocks, we just push them. Right. Got it. Thanks. Thank you. Okay, can I uh, Gonna head over the bridge now, there's no time to lose. We should head that way too. Right. <sighs> the bridge is broken. Those box box must have smashed it. Hey, Tim. Look! Footprints! Rachel and Jessica's. They went across this bridge. Hmm. Uh, Jessica said that um, the car chuckle and Kieran across the bridge, right? If we can uh, just get there somehow, we might be able to um, find Rachel and Jessica. Yeah, huh? Hold on. Tim, there's another, another, another way to get outside the bridge. 
the elevator. It's over that way up the hill. So now we're gonna get we're gonna go through it. Right. Hey. Uh, but how how do you know about this? Got it home before. Hey. We can get to the other side from of the bridge from here. No doubt about it. Yes, that's go. Hey. We've got friends to hopefully rescue. Um, yep, this, this sure is the storage area. <laughs> nice that there are lights at, at least. Let's see if we can find anything useful. And then goes down here with us as well. <laughs> There's Gerda. That's one heavy looking gate. Don't look that heavy, honestly. Yeah, do you think it's locked? There's one way to find out. You can squeeze through that easy. Oh, darn it, the gate won't even budge. Okay. Pikachu. Oh, another flashback to our guess. Goodness, I'm glad you're okay. Rico, Rico. Ah! Guess Laron's still looking for us. Okay, Laron's what out I was come pronounced. Mm. Um, right. After uh, after I uh, tried uh, talking to to uh, those two suspicious guys, the Laron um, next time started going berserk. There's no way those two weren't responsible for the sudden change of behaviour. You think so too, right, Pikachu? Yeah, you, um, you have every right to be angry. Those um, guys better watch out. If I find them, I'm going to um, take them straight to, take, take them straight to police. Let's say that um, they probably um, got away already. I, I, um, I'd go chase them down, but um, Laren's outside. Um, don't worry, I'm not out of ideas just yet. But now let's find ourselves a way outside of here. Um, here. So much sights on uh, those two guys after that. Let's see if, can, is it, is it, let's see if there's another door that will get out of here. So not that way. Um, what's there for um, everyone locking the, the gates today? Hmm. Grief. Okay, so looks tight too. I see a key. Hmm. The key. Maybe with a spare. I'm pretty careless of them to, to just uh, leave it around. But I'm not gonna look 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 a gift horse in the yeah in the mouth. I just gotta reach it with my hand out and I can't reach it. Of course you can't. Then pick it your over and um... Do I have to check everything first? Check the uh, conveniently sized mm. holes. Mm. Okay, I think I've seen enough of this gate. Now, how do I get that key? You don't have to give me a hand, huh? That's right. You could possibly fit through the uh, like that that uh, gap to the other side. I can picture you. I want you to get that key. Is that little thing over there? See it? Once it, oh, once um, we get, we get that, we can open this gate. I don't think I understood that. I better try explaining step by step. First, I need Pikachu to get um, to the other side of that gate. 
I'll sort of the gate. I should like communicate that. Okay. So I want you to pop through the, uh, that gap um, down there and get to the other, other side of that gap of the gate. Okay. Alright, um... Okay, right, uh, Pikachu's through the gap. Now, how should I explain the next step? Okay. Um, look for the same thing and bring it over here, would you? It's because you're not going to open this gate. You did it. Hmm. Bingo, it opened. Yeah, sure, sure is a storage room, all right. What's Sentra yeah. doing here? There's some girders there. There's a graveler there. Hmm. Now the gate will lucky for me, I went back here from earlier. I was there turn. Kind of, yeah. Rolling stone. Accurate, I guess. Hmm. Why did I decide to take a nap right here? That's sorry, Graveler, but I'm going to have to give this guy a pretty heavy shove. Here it goes. And no, no, no. The Graveler's not going to put the weight. No, it's not. Uh, stand, stand, the, yeah, stand asleep. How can I get it to move? Wait, these, these are, ch these, those are um, chesto berries. Hmm. Yep, I recognize those immediately. Hmm. Hmm. Right. Hmm. Hmm. So, you hard to sleep, okay. And do we examine the hole again? Yes, we do. Okay. Okay. Mm. Maybe I can uh, use one of those berries to wake up. They might make her other wake up. Mm. You'll do it. Thanks a million, Pikachu. Now, which berry should I tell Pikachu to get? Just a berry, obviously. Okay. I got a berry now, I just need to uh, give it to Graveler. Hmm. Just supposed to wake up right up. Hey, wake up. Hey there, Graveler. Um, sorry for the uh, for the uh, rubble rousing, but um, would you mind moving over just a bit so we can open the gate? Okay. Thanks for the help, Graveler. Thanks for the assist, Pikachu. Thanks, buddy. <laughs> Pikachu! Right. Ah, oh, there's the elevator. Hmm. So, don't tell me we've hit a dead end. Or, or a dead end. Is that an elevator? Ah, oh, this is the storage area I heard about. And um, we should make the uh, this um, elevator the one the old charcoal shop master is always fixing. Hmm. How's that for luck? Save us up a trip. Okay. 
Is that take it out, Pikachu? Uh, we can uh, use this elevator to get back up to the to the ground level. <laughs> Just to make sure this uh, thing actually mm. works. Probably why it keeps breaking down. Hmm. And the power on the fritz, is, so there's not, nothing happening, yada yada. Hmm. If I want to get um, the elevator working again, I think I just need to fix the uh, flow of electricity. Once I do that, we can get back to, to ground level. Hmm. How do I fix the electricity? Hmm. Clearly not a permanent solution, but something um, about the shock of the impact seems to get the electricity flowing again. But, yeah, I'm not, I'm, I'm not in this alone. Um, yep, you can choose either, either an electric type, so... Thunderbolt! Okay. The other two aren't even electric, so... Pikachu, use Thunderbolt! You did it! Great job, Pikachu. And now we can go up here. And this should get us out of here. I couldn't have done it without you. Thanks, Pikachu. Pikachu! <laughs> so, uh, back to the present, I'm guessing? Okay. No, not yet. Wasn't about Pikachu. Uh, first you help hand him and then you go and fix the elevator. <laughs> it's the only thing you can't do. I could have come this far without you. Um, I assume uh, this way. This must be the charcoal kiln hut. Okay. Okay. Back to the charcoal kiln. I was told there were um I thought this is where the, Poco, the Berserk Pokemon appeared. Investigating that um, incident, the whole reason I'm here. Man, right on the way here. I don't think from that encounter, at least. Humans definitely have something to do with the um, Berserk Pokemon. I'm going to think um, back on what I've seen so far. Two suspicious guys are later on that went Berserk right in front of us. Hmm. Um, those guys seemed f very flustered when they uh, saw me. They didn't seem they didn't seem, they didn't seem like locals. They probably came from from somewhere else. Just by the way, Pikachu reacted to them. I'm pretty sure they um, had something, something to do with um, Leron going berserk. Hmm. Leron was calm when I first saw those two. Once they started running away, Laron went berserk. Did they go berserk because they were scared of us, or for some other reason? Laron's eyes has caught my attention too. They're usually light blue, but they were red when it was going berserk. Something about that feels off to me. Okay. Well, I think that's about it. Um, oh, oh, yeah, oh, yeah, yeah. Hmm. Why did the Pokemon go berserk? Right. Now then. Why did that go berserk all of a sudden? That's it.
Yeah, full scope is right. This is it. Something definitely seemed off about um, Laron's uh, red eyes. Not to mention that um, the way it went berserk. I feel like it, um, it wasn't even thinking straight. Almost like it just lost its mind all of a sudden. Why did it react so violently? I need to get the butt to the bottom of this. Let's assume for the sake of argument that Laron was forced to go berserk. Setting all the destruction of the bamboo forest, Laron's violent, out of control behavior. It all makes sense if those um, two guys force uh, Laron to go berserk. They had that. I'm not sure. Uh, there might be more evidence back there. Once I'm domesticating here, I'll take a look back at the random bamboo forest. Seems mm -hmm. simple enough. Those two really are the ones making Pokemon go berserk then. What's wrong? Seriously? Watch out! Just a good. Only Thunderbolt. Thunderbolt is not like the best move for you in all our Never mind. Oh, hey, nice job. Hey, are you okay? Looks like those jerks were using you. Huh? What's this? A vial? A brilliance! Pokemon have been going berserk, and this stuff is why. Exactly. You think so too. If this gets out into the world, it'll be a disaster. But I will not let that happen. Thanks for all your help, buddy. Bye now. And there's the birth of the of the of the of the Pikachu, wake up, Pikachu! Whoa. Huh? <sighs> um, yeah, fell asleep again. Hey Tim, what's with that look? Come on, you worry too much. How are you not concerned about this Pikachu? Keep collapsing out of nowhere. Aren't you at all anxious about what might um, be causing that? Do you have any idea how worried we've all been? You're right, Tim, I'm sorry. I tried to downplay it, but um, <laughs> you have to keep you all from worrying, but I guess that backfired. Right. Hey, yeah, we can't, can't just go rushing. We don't know um, what's in here. Don't worry, I've been here before with Harry. It's safe in here, um, and there's an elevator in the back. We won't, um, we won't get lost. Hmm. Mm -hmm. So you're, you're, you're in the Mandamambu Bam, 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 Forest. Uh, did you two come here next? 
pretty much uh, things are pretty hairy after I gave um, Panja its there's the first problem. Harry and I counted the Berserk Pokemon, and we ended up um, here after after we ran, aw ran away. You have to run? What happened? Oh uh, boy. Um, as I was head headed in, uh, toward, toward where the land set, the war came from, I saw a hoot flying away as fast as a yada yada. Yeah, clearly his uh, memories are uh, not right. I saw Harry heading that way, I just came up with Yahada. So it didn't quite make sense. That storage area. Here the bamboo for burrow um used the storage area. Some Pokemon live here, but it's um, it's generally a generally a safe place. Storage area, yep, makes sense. About the elevator. There's an elevator up ahead that we can uh, use to get to ground level. It'll let us um out to the other side of the bridge, which is perfect. How it doesn't know always work, but I know how to fix that. Right, so they're gonna organize the thoughts again. Mm. Yeah, what's wrong this time? Oh. Okay, so there's something strange about uh, what what Pikachu said. That one's a little trickier, actually. Your daddy climbed the, um, dead. Okay. Hey. Yes, I okay. Hey. Okay, okay. Yep, the gate's not no no even locked this time. Uh, there's a young goose. Ah, there's some boulders there. Yep, we're going to get a uh, Pangoro's help. Okay. That fills that in. Then I just push this um, over the top, and we have a bit of a bridge. First I've pushed that one in. Hmm. Okay. 
This one could definitely be a bit more tricky. Ah, hard up. Push that in. Then I can um, push that there. Okay. Pushing it up wouldn't work at all. Yeah, this one's, this one's definitely a bit trickier. Hmm. Yeah, okay, we can't push that. Yeah, I feel like pushing that that way is the only thing or the only thing we can do. Wait. Ah Do we need to, um... Right. Okay, so we have to, um... Hmm. Ah, so we have to go and talk to Tim first. Got it. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. 